Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a retro style for text in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.2. Inside your edit window, go to your effects library. Underneath toolbox, select titles and choose text. Click and drag this to your timeline. To create a 5 second text edit in video track 1. Ensure that this new edit is selected. Go to Inspector. Underneath Rich Text, type in the word or message that you want to have displayed on screen. Change the font family to Latto. And change the font face to Bold Italic. I'm going to increase the size of my text to 380. Double click on the box next to Color. Choose black as the font colour. Click OK. Scroll down your inspector window to stroke. Change this colour to white. Change the stroke size to 8. Turn background off so that we are only editing text and not a background canvas. In order to add fusion effects to this text, we need to convert the text edit to a compound clip. Ensure that the clip is still selected. Go to Clip and New Compound Clip. Click Create. Right click on the compound clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel, ensure that Media in 1 is selected. Hold Shift and press Space and search for the Soft Glow tool. Select this option and click on Add. With the new Soft Glow node selected, underneath Inspector, ensure that Fast Gaussian is set as the filter. Change Gain to 1.4 and set Glow Size to 30. Return to the Edit window, back to Effects Library, under Toolbox, select Generators and then 4 Color Gradient. Click and drag this to the timeline above your compound clip. Ensure that this new gradient edit has the same length as your compound clip. Click and drag from the sides to resize at any time. With the 4 Color Gradient edit selected, go to Inspector. Double click on the box next to Upper Left Color and set it to the following blue shade using the hexadecimal code next to HTML, hashtag 0000FF. Click OK. Repeat the same for upper right colour. For lower left colour, use a hexadecimal code with the Fs and zeros swapped around, so hashtag FF0000. This should create a vibrant red shade. Click OK and repeat the same for lower right colour. Change centre Y to 0 0.35 to shift the blue shade further down. Go to Composite and change the Composite mode to Darken. Return to the Effects library. Underneath Toolbox, go to Effects and select Adjustment Clip. Drag this to the third video track on your edit timeline, ensuring that this is parallel with the four colour gradient and compound clips below. Right click on the Adjustment Clip and go to Open in Fusion page. With Media in 1 selected inside your Nodes panel, hold Shift and press Space. Select Brightness and Contrast, go to Add. Change Gain to 1.5. Go back to your Edit window. Inside your Effects Library toolbox once again. Select Open Effects. Scroll down the Filter options. To find Scan Lines under Resolve Effects Stylize. Select this and drag and drop on your Adjustment Clip. With the Adjustment Clip selected, go to Inspector. Select Open Effects, 
change line frequency to 11.3 and change line sharpness to 0 0.830. Scroll down your scan line properties. Ensure that scan lines only is not ticked and composite type is overlay. Blend should also be set to zero. Now to create the fade in effect. Under Toolbox, select Video Transitions, select Cross Dissolve, and drag this to the beginning of the bottom compound clip on Video Track 1. Select the transition frame which appears, go to Inspector, and change the duration to 2 seconds. Select the three edits on your timeline by holding in Control and selecting each of these. Use Command instead of Control if you are a Mac user. Drag this selection up to Video Track 5, leaving Video Tracks 1 and 2 empty at the bottom. Select Compound Clip, hold Control and C to copy. Ensure that the red playhead is positioned at the end of this particular clip. Hold Control and V to paste. With your red playhead over this pasted compound clip, Go to the bottom left corner of your preview window and select Crop. Go to click on the small white circle in the top centre point of the frame and drag this down so that only roughly a fifth of your text appears on screen. Click on the Crop icon again to deselect this. Click on and drag the duplicated compound clip to the video track below your original text file. With this duplicated compound clip still selected, go to Inspector, change the opacity to 60, and change the value inside position Y to a negative value to move this text downwards. In this case here, I'm going to type in minus 100. Ensure that there is a narrow gap in between the two pieces of text on your screen. With the duplicated compound clip still selected, hold in Ctrl and press C to copy. Drag the red playhead to the end of these clips and press Ctrl and V to paste. Drag this third compound clip down to video track 1, parallel with the other four clips. Change the opacity of this third clip to 30 and double the value that you see inside position Y. So here in this example, I'm going to change this to minus 200. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.